Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can automate the analysis of malware samples using Cuckoo Sandbox. Have you set up your own lab to analyze the behavior of a malware sample? You would set up a number of tools and examine the results from each of them. Wouldn't it be great if we had an automated solution that can analyze a sample using multiple tools, interpret the results, and present it to us? This is where the Cuckoo Sandbox comes in. Cuckoo automatically performs static and dynamic malware analysis on a sample in a secure environment and presents the results in a short period of time. It can analyze file across multiple formats from Windows or Linux or Mac computers. Cuckoo is free and open source. You can set it up on your computer and start analyzing samples right away. I have set up Cuckoo Sandbox on my Ubuntu machine. The Sandbox can be accessed over the browser. This is the dashboard. You can find information about your setup. You can submit either a file or its hash to be analyzed. First, I will upload an executable file for analysis. Cuckoo would use a virtual machine to analyze the sample on your behalf. As the file is being processed, you will find it in the list of pending tasks. Once the analysis is complete, you can find the report within the recent tab. Click on the sample name to view the results. Information is presented across the different categories listed here. Within the summary section, you can find the sample's hash values. Within the signatures section, you can find an overview of suspected abnormal activity. Within the Static Analysis section, we can find results presented across four tabs. Since we are dealing with a portable executable, information obtained from basic static analysis is present here like the compile time, import hash, information about sections, resources, list of dynamic link libraries used, and the imported functions. The presence of a particular function is indicative of the sample's capabilities. You can observe the results in the behavioral analysis section to confirm if a function had been used. You can also find the strings extracted from the sample. Within the behavioral analysis section, we can find out if the sample had created any child processes. This sample has not. We can find detailed information about the sample's activities stored across these categories. The sample has queried a number of registry locations. No keys or values were set. The sample has made some changes to the file system. The sample has created a file in the temporary files folder. It has also written some unreadable content into this file. Another executable has been dropped into the temp folder. This sample has not made any network connections and has not started any services. You can explore the information presented in the other tabs to fully understand the sample's behavior. Within the network analysis section, Typically, you can find information about connections made to an external command and control server. This sample does not have any outbound network activity. The UDP packets exchanged here correspond to activity between the Cuckoo host and the virtual machine used for analysis. Within the dropped file section, you can view the names of dropped files, the absolute path on disk where they were dropped, along with their hashes. You can also download each dropped file for further analysis. Cuckoo has also extracted a dump of the process in memory. Here, you can view the list of URL found in process memory. Some of them appear to be relevant to the certificates used by the binary. Each item in the list can be scrutinized. In Cuckoo, you can also compare the analysis results of two samples. You can also export the logs and results generated by Cuckoo.
Now, I will show you the results of a suspicious Microsoft Excel workbook that I analyzed. Within the Static Analysis section, there are some results which indicate that visual basic macros are present in the workbook. They could be extracted and analyzed. This sample has not dropped any files or made any network connections. Cuckoo is capable of analyzing all types of Office documents. I analyzed a suspicious PDF document. The sample was found to contain a URL to a zip file. The PDF document can be analyzed further using special tools. To set up the Cuckoo Sandbox in your lab, I highly recommend following all the steps in the official documentation. There are also publicly available sandboxes that you can use. When a public sandbox is used, the sample and the results of its behavioral analysis would become available to anyone using the sandbox. I would recommend using your own setup when you need to analyze a sample during a field engagement. I hope you have a good idea now about how the Cuckoo Sandbox can be used to automate the quick analysis of malware samples. I encourage you to set up Cuckoo in your home lab. Pick a variety of samples from your malware dataset and examine their behavior using Cuckoo. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!